Hi guys, my name's Whitney. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm 31 years old. I am 5'6", and on October 27th, 2020, I will be having the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, or VSG. That is a type of weight loss surgery. Um, I'm here to document my journey, and I really appreciate all of you who are joining me. So like this video, subscribe, and uh, join me on this journey. So when I posted my very first video ever last week, um, I just kind of did a get to know you, but I figure I should do a better sort of starting out where I'm at, where I'm going type video. And then I'll go into the two week liquid diet that I'm currently on um, that is required by my doctor prior to surgery. So uh, my high weight back in May of 2020, before I started on this journey, was 282 pounds, 0.4. And if I'm looking down, I apologize, I just have some notes. So that was 282.4 in May of 2020. Uh, when I came at you last week with my intro video, I was at 273.6. Since then, it's been seven days that I've been on the liquid diet, and this morning I weighed in at 267.2. Um, so that is a weekly loss of 6.4 pounds and a loss since my high weight of 15.2 pounds. Um, so big drop for the week, but um, honestly not super surprising. That 273.6 that I came at you at last week um, is actually not where my weight's really been over the last few months. So during the uh, three months of medically directed weight loss that I was required to do by my insurance as a condition of getting this surgery, um, I actually did lose about 20 pounds, and then in August, things got really crazy at work, and to be honest, I kind of ran, went off the rails um, and just didn't get back on track until I started this liquid diet. So a lot of that was just water weight and bloat that I was dropping. Um, you know, I know I did gain back a little bit of fat, I'm sure. Um, but I had gotten down to about 260 pounds um, and then gained, you know, I guess that's 13 pounds back. Um, so now I've dropped that and will hopefully continue losing over this liquid diet. So let's see. Uh, so I'm seven days into the liquid diet. My surgeon does require a two week. I'm sorry about my cat, guys. I don't I don't know what she's doing. Um, but my surgeon does require a two-week uh, pre-op liquid diet, and that basically consists of protein shakes. So these are the protein shakes that she requires me to use. This is from Cornerstone Wellness MD. These are a prescription uh, protein shake, only available from a physician. You can't go out and buy it. Uh, you might have noticed on the packaging here, it says best tasting. That is a lie. Um, I only brought the vanilla in here with me, but there's actually two flavors that I bought, vanilla and chocolate. I was required to purchase two of these. Um, the chocolate one is okay. It just, it tastes like a chocolate protein shake, but that vanilla one is not good. It's not good. Um, I don't e I can't even describe to you what it tastes like. Um, I think I was trying to tell someone about it the first time I had one and I described it as regurgitated creme brulee and I really haven't come up with anything better since then so it's really gross if your doctor requires you to um, use this brand my apologies I've seen some people that are allowed to have like Premier or other like over-the-counter commercially available protein shakes and I'm so jealous um, but I'm gonna do what my doctor says. <laughs> I don't wanna mess anything up. And I found that if I add some, you know, coffee, decaf, or um, like water enhancer or something like that, it's tolerable. So I've been trying to actually front load that vanilla one and drink as much of that as I can before surgery because I don't think I'll be able to stomach it after surgery. From what I've seen, so many people have food aversions uh, and I don't wanna end up in that position. So. Sorry. Uh, that's the protein shakes. I am also allowed to have a variety of caffeine free, sugar free, calorie free, uh, clear liquids. That would be things like sugar free Kool Aid. Um, I don't drink Kool Aid, but that was one of the things on the list. You know, um, like water enhancers, Mio. I, I bought some Mios. Um, I've also been using. I used to drink Zip Fizz um, and plan to continue that after surgery once I'm allowed, but Zip Fizz does have a little bit of 
caffeine in it. So I've discontinued that for now and instead I'm using a brand called Ultima. Um, I should have brought that down with me, but sorry. But it's a sugar-free, calorie-free water enhancer that includes electrolytes. Um, so I've added a few of those to the vanilla. I did a raspberry one one day and then I did an orange one today and those were okay. Um, I am filming a what I eat in a day on the liquid diet that I'll probably be posting in the next couple of days, so keep an eye out for that. But honestly, you guys, there is one product that is saving my life right now and keeping me from going crazy, which is this. This bare bones bone broth. Um, you can't see, but these are like individual packets that they come in. So they're like little um, sleeves kind of, which is appropriate, right, for our sleeves. And each one has 10 grams of protein, zero sugar, 50 calories, and I think it only has uh, three carbs, and one of those is, is fiber. So two net carbs, uh, 10 grams of protein, you put one of those in eight ounces of water, a cup of water, and you can either drink it on its own, that's actually what they're designed to be, is like a drinkable bone broth, or um, you could eat it more like a soup or, or whatever. Anyway, they're really good, I think. Um, and honestly, that is what is saving me from going crazy right now because I basically do one shake in the morning with some decaf coffee, which kind of feels like I'm just having coffee, and then um, one shake for lunch. And then at, for dinner, I will do uh, one of those with some of the vegetables that I'm allowed to eat. So I'm allowed to eat basically any non-starchy vegetable. So, you know, lettuce, spinach, cauliflower, cucumber, bell peppers, um, there are other ones, but you name it, non-starchy vegetable, I can have it, but I can't have things like carrots or potatoes. So um, I've tried a few different things to kind of try and feel normal. I've used uh, cauliflower, like riced cauliflower, and put that in the broth, and that's pretty good. Last night I did one where I um, sauteed up some onions and bell pepper, and then put that in the broth, and it kind of had like a peppers and onions, like sausage type vibe. Of course there was no sausage, but the beef broth kind of helped with that. Um, so it's not perfect, it, you know, is it what I would eat if I could eat anything I wanted? Of course not, but it it's a big help and it's something that's not sweet um, and it still does help you reach your protein goals. So I ended up buying five of these. Um, I got these at Costco. Um, they do, you can order them directly from the company and I think they sell them elsewhere. They have them on Amazon, but I think I saw online on Amazon, it was like, $28 or $26 for that same size bag. I got that at Costco for, um, they sell for $14.99. And then when I went over the weekend, they were on sale for $5 off. So they were only uh, 10 bucks a bag. And so that was a huge boon. And I was like, I'm buying all of these because I just think those things are going to be, I think they're going to be worth their weight in gold after surgery, just to have something that's not sweet, that still helps me hit my protein goals and doesn't require a huge intake of fluid to do so. Um, so that's that. You'll see more of what I'm eating in my what I eat in a day. In general, I've actually been really surprised at, um, I won't say how easy the pre-op diet has been, but that it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Today, if I'm being honest, was like, today was hard. Today I was really tired. I think the lack of caffeine was really hitting me today. I mean, I was... I was slow, but every other day has really been pretty okay. And I'm gonna tell you what I did, and um, you can do whatever you want, obviously. But I did something that's gonna sound crazy, which is that I started my pre-op liquid diet early. And I know that sounds weird, cause like everyone's like, it's horrible, why would you wanna do it for longer? But here's my reasoning. I started four days early for two reasons. One is, um, the actual 14 days before my surgery was a Tuesday because I'm having surgery on a Tuesday. So two weeks before that was another Tuesday. And I just, everything I've read, everything I've heard is that the first couple days of the liquid diet are the worst. And so I didn't want to be dealing with that while I have to try and be working and focusing. Like my job is not really one where I can just be zoned out or feeling crummy. So I decided to start it the Friday before 
um, so that the worst, like days two and three, were over the weekend. So I did that, and then the other thing I did is I didn't break into that like medical protein powder that my doctor gave me, um, just in case it's portioned out to last me only just long enough. I used um, Premier Proteins and some Quest Protein Shakes, just like commercially available protein shakes instead. And on the first two days, I did let myself have some normal food, but things that would still, um, you know, keep me or sort of lead me into ketosis, which is the point of the pre to get you into ketosis and shrink your liver. So the first two days, I just did um, coffee with a protein shake in the morning, which honestly, that part's really easy. I've never been a big breakfast person. And then for lunch on those first two days, I made a smoothie, which is kind of my go-to for dieting anyway, which is like a good green smoothie made with like Greek yogurt and spinach or kale and then some fruit um, and some chia seeds and some hemp seeds and just like a little bit of water. And it's really good um, and it gives you like, there's something like 30 grams of protein in there. And then you can also add a scoop of protein powder, which I did this time. Um, So I did that the first few days and then I would do a shake for dinner, but there was one day, I think it was Sunday, that I don't know why the idea of scrambled eggs just sounded really good to me, which is weird because I'm not a big scrambled eggs person. But I did let myself have those scrambled eggs because like that's not going to kick me out of ketosis and I wasn't on my official pre-op diet yet. So I did do that um, just in the interest of full disclosure. But since then, since Monday, I have been 100% on plan on the diet. I have not cheated, Um, even though there are things that I think probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. for how this diet is supposed to work. I just don't want to risk it. You know, the reason our surgeons have us do this diet is to keep us safe um, and to make sure that surgery goes successfully to shrink our livers um, and reduce risk. So I don't want to mess around with that, but I am also trying to make it as bearable as possible. So um, that bone broth has really, really helped. If you are starting your pre-op diet and you're worried about just having sweet stuff all the time, I highly recommend that. I think there's also something psychologically about, you know, when I make these, it's like I make it like a soup and I eat it out of a bowl with a spoon and there's something about doing that and not just having to drink it that I just think psychologically our bodies are like, okay, yeah, real food, cool. Um, So that's where I'm at. I'm feeling pretty good. I was really tired today, but Hopefully that'll pass. If not, tomorrow's Friday and then it's the weekend so I can sleep it off. I have a little over a week left of this and then it's surgery day and that's crazy. I I can't believe that's already happening. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, I'm, I'm a little scared too, but mostly excited. And anyway, I just wanted to check in, say hi to you guys and show you what I'm eating. All right, so uh, keep an eye out. I am going to post that what I eat in a day, probably either tomorrow or Saturday. So bye, guys.